cracking like in y'all is Neo, aka the homie, aka Isn't Lady Lacey, night? Jessica 21, and Judge Kitty's future boyfriend. And we kicking it, you know, we kicking it old school, little original Batman right here. Got the powerhouse with us on Arkham City Challenge Map. We just messing with these fools right here, you know what I'm saying? Just getting it in. All up in the grill. <laughs> so we really are screwing with these guys. That's the best thing about Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City is just messing with the goons. Just, just give me the city and give me the Predator maps and I'll just go around screwing with people. I played the Arkham Asylum demo over and over again just so I could like freaking hit guys off of ladders with batarangs and like see them getting nervous and screaming and shooting guns all over the place. Just busting caps in each other's butts, man. It was crazy. Crazy, I tell you. And that guy right there now really needs to go see his orthodontist because his teeth are jacked up, man. man. We just sacked that guy right in the jaw like, uh because uh, that's how Batman does it man he's crazy not unlike myself but he's a little bit worse than I am you know he's a little dressed in his leotard and armed to the teeth but uh you know it, it, it don't matter it don't matter he's still gonna take him out I haven't played this game in a while like the last time I played it was like when it came out or no last time I played it was like around my birthday because I got this for like Christmas and I played it like non-stop because I really wanted to beat it and the story was so much better than Arkham Asylum I thought Arkham Asylum was a great game like it was really fun it fit Batman really well it looked just like Batman and stuff like that and like the original cartoons and so it it, it used um you know it licensed the material really well on looks but and and the fighting like I said the fighting was really good Although people, a lot of the times people say that, you know, oh yeah, we can use the gadgets in the game and everything, and they do really a lot to help out. They don't do as much as they did, as they do in Arkham City. They, now you can say that. Now you can say that uh, the gadgets aid in combat, because they actually really do, but in Arkham Asylum, they really didn't do anything. The only useful was like the grapple gun, which is one of my favorites, and I like the freeze one in here. But um, they didn't, really didn't do anything in Arkham Asylum, but... You know, the combat was another good thing about Arkham Asylum, but it's just the story to me was really, really lacking. Like, I don't have time for this. I don't know. I, I know Let's make it, quick. it seems like, oh, yeah, Batman needed to keep everybody in Arkham Asylum because Joker was trying to, like, bug him out and just go crazy and take over the place and everything. But, you know, there's a lot of more other games that try more unique things and they get pounced on for, like, not having good ideas or whatever some way to tie them all in and stuff I mean look at okay so I'm gonna get into this later on I'm gonna be doing a special video just for this that I've been planning on doing for a while I'm gonna be doing a comparison between Batman and Spider-Man my two favorite heroes Batman's my favorite DC hero Spider-Man's my favorite Marvel hero Batman ever since I was a kid was my favorite favorite hero but then you know I you know spider-man movies came out and I started getting more exposed to the games and stuff and I realized spider-man's my favorite hero so he's my favorite hero now but Batman's always like my second favorite hero and they're very similar and everything and so I don't get why people are always hating on spider-man saying oh Rocksteady should make all the superhero games because they're amazing and stuff like that I want them to stick with Batman they do a good job with Batman and right now Beanox is working with spider-man they're doing a decent job, and Shadow Dimensions, which was actually one of my favorites in a while, was actually really good. Um, but, you know, like, that was uh, the way that they tied them all in together, uh, all the Spider-Mans and stuff was saying that, uh, and all the villains was saying that they, the tablet got split up, each Spider-Man had to take out a villain that had got a piece of the tablet. That was a little weak on story, especially when I heard that they were getting a writer of the comics to work on it, and I was expecting a lot more, so I was a little disappointed in that. But Arkham Asylum was basically the same thing. The only exception is that you understand why all these uh, enemies and villains are in this place. It's because they were put there by Batman. But, you know, just take it easy on the other games. I mean, come on, you have to admit, that was kind of lacking too. And there really wasn't any clear-cut story on what the heck was going on in Arkham Asylum. I was just running around, fighting Scarecrow, doing his levels, and just trying to get by and understand what the hell was going on, but nothing was really going on. I was just getting to Joker the entire time, and then when I got to Joker, we had a little brawl, and that was basically it. And then, sequel! Yeah, sequel! Sorry if that was spoilers, but I'm not going to tell you what really happened, but you know, that's kind of how the story went, but 
I don't know. It's just, you know, I, I thought that Arkham City was so much of an improvement uh, over Arkham Asylum. Just in every aspect, story, combat, uh, getting around, like, traversal and stuff. Getting around the city um, is so much more fun and flexible now. I mean, really, in Arkham Asylum, all you were doing was being on foot, except for when you were, like, in a map uh, hanging above on the gargoyles to take people out. You could fly a little bit sometimes around the city and or um, around the island and, you know, go to your bat cave and check, them out, uh, check out your gadgets there and practice around, but there really, really wasn't an open-world exploration. And that's one thing that Arkham City nailed. There's always a problem with, like, repetitive buildings in open-world games, like in Prototype and in uh, Spider-Man games, especially those games because they're based off New York and everything. But I really did not see any problems with uh, Arkham City's. Like, I barely noticed, like, that buildings would repeat, like, because I think it's so dark and, you know, you're just too busy looking at people on the ground and stuff, and there wasn't much that you could tell was repeating. I really didn't notice anything. You know, every single time I play it, it still feels fresh, so that's one thing that Arkham uh, City and Rocksteady nailed was the feeling of being in this giant, giant city, like this giant prison. And, um, yeah, I, I have to get my hats off of Arkham City, though, still definitely feels like a sequel. I mean, there was vast improvements on simple things, but not everything was improved. Like, you know, there was only a couple of boss fights in this one. I know that some of the boss fights uh, take place in some of the side missions and stuff like that, but I was expecting a little bit more in the main story. Like, um, you fight kind of this random... I don't even know what it is, but I'm, like I just said, there's just a few boss fights, and I wish that there could have been more with a few more uh, iconic people. Um, there are some pretty sweet ones, though, for the ones that there are. You just, they're pretty intense and pretty amazing, and I love the way they look, too. They felt great, they looked awesome, so that was pretty something special. Alright, so as soon as I pick up Shadow Dimensions again, no, not Edge of Time, I haven't even played that yet, and I probably won't play it for a while. But as soon as I pick up Shadow Dimensions, I will be doing a comparison on that and Arkham City. And just like, you know, Spider-Man and Batman in general, they're going to go head-to-head and -head, which one's better. So I hope you can look forward to that. I'm Neo, and I will catch you guys later.